no doubt. We believe, like the sheriff said, there is probable cause to believe that this is a forgery. We have a fraud, fraudulent document. We have a fraud taking place. The two examples on the far left are from the same post office where Barack Obama supposedly turned in his Selective Service paperwork. The stamp below is Mr. Barack Obama's and it contains only two digits for the year. Why? This photograph shows a PICA 2008 year stamp and a PICA 80 stamp. Since there are no 1980 PICA year stamps available, the 2008 was cut between the two zeros and inverted. This inverted cut stamp creates a similar effect, which closely resembles the one seen in Barack Obama's Selective Service Registration Card. This illustration shows what the 2008 PICA stamp looks like when cut in half and then inverted. There is a clear difference between the authentic stamp shown on the right and Mr. Barack Obama's on the left. Look at the distance between the zero and the innermost circle of the stamp. Look at the distance to the right of the zero and beneath the zero. The reason the numbers 8 and 0 are out of position on Barack Obama's registration card is because when the numbers 08 were cut away from the year 2008, they were not cut squarely. The person who cut them cut too close to the zero. So when 08 was turned upside down to become 80 and put back into the PICA stamp, it pushed too far to the right. In what is becoming a clear pattern for documents that are essential to the documentation of Obama's life narrative, the Selective Service card isn't just forged, it's poorly forged. Government mandate. DOD instruction says it has to be a four-digit year stamp. Looking at everything that we have here today, looking at that Selective Service card, I mean, that is obvious forgery. The question was asked, who vets the presidential candidate or who vets the president? The answer came back, the Constitution, and nobody vets the candidate. There is no FBI, NSA, CIA. The sheriff had a bunch of letters to those. He knows them all. Nobody does it. During our investigation, we've also learned that the Democratic National Committee are the ones that certify their candidate. And in that certification of nomination paperwork, they omit the constitutional language saying that he meets the constitutional requirements. That card carries even further significance than the birth certificate. That card carries penalties. Five years in prison for failure to do so. $250,000 fine. But it also says something to the effect that you can hold public office. We agree with you that there is an agenda. We don't know who's running the whole thing. Um, I will tell you that we did receive information from three separate independent sources telling us that major media networks were threatened with criminal investigations, FCC investigations, and some people's safety was threatened. We got information that it was Soros operatives. We're not entirely sure who it was, but we know that there's a major media blackout.